So the AP Top 25 Week 1 is released. Let's take a look at it. Alright guys, welcome into my channel, Peak Sports. I'm Weston, and uh, here we're covering all things sports related. Like I said, right now, in past videos, um, it's going to be college football heavy. Um, just because that's what I'm more most passionate about. That's what I want to cover. But in the future, I do want to cover um, other major sports headlines and different different sectors and uh, cover everything. But in this in today's video, we're going to be covering week one of AP Top 25. Get some ideas out and uh, go over it. So no no surprise here. Alabama Georgia coming in at number one and two. Um, these guys just look in a league of their own. Uh, to be honest. It's it's not even close, in my opinion. Um, after them, we, Ohio State is rightfully in that next tier of, of quality. Um, they took care of Notre Dame. Notre Dame, I think, looked more impressive than I thought they were going to, but I did think Ohio State was gonna beat them pretty handedly, which, I mean, they dominated, but uh, I think Notre Dame held their own, so that's good for them. And then after that, after those three, really, it's kind of up in the air. You got Michigan, Clemson, Texas A&M, OU, Notre Dame. I think those are going to be jockeying all year long for that that four spot. Um, I don't think Michigan's going to be at Ohio State this year and take over that third spot just because it's in Columbus and they haven't won there in a long time. And then down the line... Um, I thought it was interesting that Florida jumped all the way up to 12 in the rankings, um, one spot above, above Utah at 13, which, you know, it does make sense. Um, they looked pretty evenly matched. Obviously, Florida came out on top in that one. They were at home, had that home field advantage, um, crowd on their side, and Utah had the game in their hands. Um, I think that's about where I would have put Utah in the preseason rankings in that 10 to 15 range. So I think that's that's a decent spot for them. And I think that's one of the toughest games they're going to have all year in Gainesville. So I think they're going to have a, a great season still, possibly run the table in the Pac-12, go to the, back to the Pac-12 championship, and worst case scenario, they're back in the Rose Bowl. So Utah, I know it's a tough loss, but you don't have anything to hang your head about a lot of season ahead. Um, and we'll have to see what Florida is. You know, um, they got Kentucky this week, which is going to be a great game. So I think we'll find out a lot about them really quick. Um, and then Oregon dropped out of the rankings completely, which I think was a bit harsh. I mean, I know they didn't really do anything up against Georgia, um, but I think a lot of teams in the top 25 would have had a similar result to that. Georgia just looks that good this year. Um, they're only one spot out. They got this, the most of the receiving votes after Houston. So if they keep winning, they'll be right back up there. I don't know. Is, is Oregon is Oregon bad or not bad? But Or is Georgia that good? You know, that's just fun things that we have to figure out throughout the season and keep watching and uh, to find out and kind of get a more of resumes built for all these teams. Um, and then still a lot to be left to look forward to um, going forward. Uh, all the other teams here in the top 25 aren't egregious. I don't have any any um, strong opinions on. Like I said, it's just it's just an early early ranking. I think it's better than the preseason week one, um, but uh, still a lot to be determined in these next matchups. So we got a lot of fun matchups. We got the Florida Kentucky game, Alabama Texas. I think it's game day is going to be there. Alabama should win that one. I don't know. We'll see what Texas can do. Um, Baylor BYU. Um, that'll be a fun one to watch. And then I think there was one more. Um, I'm slipping my mind, but um, oh Tennessee. Ah, who's Tennessee playing? Tennessee Pitt. Yeah, that'll be a fun one as well. So yeah, um, let me know what you guys think about the, the rankings this week. Where would you guys put your team or um, any overrated teams or underrated teams? Let me know in the comment section. But thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video.